the Ethereum Shanghai upgrade is coming, and with it, over 17 million staked Ether are about to get unlocked. And most interesting question that comes to mind is, will Ethereum crash as people dump their tokens in a mass selling event? Or will the Ethereum Shanghai upgrade kick off a new bull cycle as Ether staking is finally complete? Welcome back to the Pro Miners channel where we teach you how to build wealth. Here we are presenting the research by our analyst, Regender. Ethereum Shanghai upgrade is set to unlock 17 million Ethereum tokens from April 12th. Shanghai upgrade could be one of Ethereum's biggest changes in the past few years. Now let's focus on Ethereum staking, which actually started way back in 2020, with all staked tokens locked away unable to be used by the people who stake them. But with the Ethereum Shanghai upgrade, these tokens will finally be freed. This means that 17 million Ethereum values above $31 billion with 520000 validators will be unlocked from the beacon chain. And people can either sell their Ether, hold it, or choose to stake their Ether for longer. So in today's video, we are explaining what the Shanghai upgrade is. At present, the price of Ethereum is above $1,800. What will happen to the price of Ethereum? Contrary to what most people think, this Shanghai upgrade is just the beginning of many good things to come. To begin with, the Shanghai upgrade is one of the most anticipated moments in Ethereum history. Many people wondered for years whether this would ever become a reality. The Shanghai upgrade is the end of a question that has been going on for years, which is, when can I withdraw my staked Ether? First of all, you should know about staked Ether. What is a staked Ether? Staked Ether, Steeth, is a cryptocurrency token that aims to represent an Ethereum token that is staked or deposited to support blockchain operations. In September 2022, the Ethereum mainnet completed its transition from a proof-of-work consensus mechanism to proof-of-stake. To boost scalability, number of transactions, and many more others, Ethereum launched what is called the Beacon Chain, this temporary upgrade allowed users to stake their Ether on the chain and earn rewards. But unlike most other proof-of-stake chains, you weren't allowed to withdraw your Ethereum. For the users who staked since 2020, they knew they'd be able to withdraw their Ether after the merge at some time. But they didn't have a timetable. Most people thought it would be a couple of months. But as we all know, the merger took place delay after delay. So these couple months turned into a few years, and all over this time, the number of stakes in Ethereum grew to more than 17 million. Now, thanks to the Shanghai upgrade, these 17 million Ethereum are going to be unlocked on April 12th. This date is now confirmed by an official announcement from the Ethereum Foundation. And you should note this upgrade will also be referred to as the Capella upgrade. And this is because there are technically two upgrades happening in Ethereum Shanghai and Ethereum Capella. Shanghai Upgrade or Ethereum Improvement Proposal EIP 4895, which allows Beacon Chain to enable withdrawals for anyone who staked Ethereum for rewards. Capella is the upgrade name on the consensus layer and the main, the feature coming here is for validators to exit the beacon chain with rewards and their 32 ETH staked and stop being a validator. These two upgrades combined completely stake all Ethereum in the future fully unlocked. Anyone can stake Unstack at any time, but the reason so many people are paying close attention to upgrading is to cause a major question which is, are all the tokens, all the Ethereum, going to be dumped on the market as people try to win back their money? Today, the value of staked Ethereum is above $31 billion. And when the upgrade goes live, these tokens will be unlocked and stakers, validators, can do whatever they want to do with their tokens. Therefore, over the years, many have to guess what would happen when this occurs. With many pessimists predicted these tokens would be sold in bulk volume and reduce the price of Ethereum. But we have stats and research, and we don't think this will happen. The Shanghai upgrade, EIP 4895, will create a yield benchmark against which the yield benchmarks of other tokens on Ethereum will be calculated. A benchmark is a standard with which to measure performance. Benchmarks are generally indexes of investment instruments against which portfolio performance is evaluated. 
and how much profit can be gained? Even if there is a sell-off, can there be any impact from that? Okay, now we understand this. The amount of Ethereum that has been staked on the proof-of-stake beacon chain is around 17 million Ethereum, the value of which is above $31 billion, with the number of validators or stakeholders 520000. This stake is near about 14% of the total Ethereum circulating supply. This ratio compared to the other tokens' stacked ratio is very low. The ratio in the others' tokens is in the range of 65 to 80 percent approx. So this plus point in favor of Ethereum and the concept of the stake percentage concludes the that probability of sell-off is very low, so sell-off will not take place. Out of 520000 validators of the Lido Finance Ethereum, the biggest one is which has approx 30 percent market share that is whatever there is at stake, in which 30 percent is done by Lido Finance and the rest staked quantity are in the exchanges like Kraken, Coinbase, and Binance, which are centralized exchanges. So all of these have also been staked. Now, the interesting thing is some of the stakeholders may not be sold because 70% of the stakes have been invested in late 2021 or early 2022. At that time, the price of Ethereum was very high. So right now, if they will sell, that means below price sale will happen. So firstly... They will not sell at loss. You get the point that we try to focus on. This is also a plus point in favor of Ethereum. Logical, this leads you can't get to see much of the sale off. However, if the sale off occurs, then how much can happen? What can be the impact? We will see now in the Shanghai upgrade, individual stakers who have not utilized any staking services or pools can withdraw their ETH in two ways, partial withdrawals and full withdrawals. Two types of withdrawal will be allowed. Partial withdrawals mean that stakers can withdraw the rewards received on their staked ETH. The rewards earned can be withdrawn instantly without any waiting period. But you cannot touch your staked Ethereum. On the contrary, complete withdrawals allow users to withdraw their entire balance, which includes the 32 ETH that was staked with the blockchain. Users who have staked their Ethereum using a staking service have to check with their service provider about the process and timeline for withdrawals. Crypto exchange Coinbase, which offers staking services to its users, has announced that it will process the withdrawal requests 24 hours after the Chapella upgrade goes live. Likewise, Lido, the third largest protocol for liquid staking, has announced that its users holding Steth will not be able to access their Ether until the protocol completes a security audit during a scheduled upgrade in mid-May. The figures. Here we are extracting that. There is 1 million Ethereum inside the staking rewards, got it, whose amount is around 1.7 billion. Then, if the staking rewards Ethereum are taken out and locked immediately, then the pressure of sell-off on the market will be around 1.7 billion. And at present, the price of Ethereum is above $1,800 with average revenue of $13 billion. The average volume, as I am looking at it, it's around 13 okay. So there is a volume of $13 billion out of that. Even if something comes out of $1.7 billion, then no one is going to read the impact on the higher price. Okay, now there is some more rule for these staking withdrawals. At what level will they be withdrawals? How many validators will get rewards daily? There are other things that we will tell you. So you will know that pressure of sell-off is something like this won't be much. Okay. Now the second option, which is called full exit, complete withdrawals, allows users to withdraw their entire balance. Like earlier said that there will be some limits. And the limit is seven validators per epic. And here the term epic means one epic equal sign 6.4 minutes. So there will be seven validators per 6.4 minutes. The daily net 1,500 to 1,600 validators will be able to do complete withdrawals okay. And the total number of validators, as we said in the starting, it is around 520000. And our daily net validators are 1575. As we see, daily net validators are just 0.30% of the total number of validators. The conclusion is so many validators will not be able to exit at once. Due to the limitations okay, even if they want to exit together, 
This will occur in pieces, and the complete withdrawals take place in 330 days approx. Because of that reason also, the network will not be destabilized. This is also a plus point in a favor of Ethereum, so more sell-off can't take place. Now looking at this thing here, if you understand this, we are extracting according to our research and analysis that right now checking the stats, sell-off pressure can't be created. But we have also seen this. Notice that whenever news comes, a piece of news has come out, then the price increases a lot. But on the day the news is about to come, the price is slightly lower on the same day. And whatever happens, it is the sentiment of the market, no matter how good the thing is. But the sentiment of the market at that time, the big whales of the market spoil it a bit. So the price comes down a little bit. It is okay. But overall, if we consider these things, anyone can understand the situation of the Ethereum price. There should not be any sell-off pressure. U.S.-based cryptocurrency exchange. Kraken has received a $30 million fine from the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, for violating securities laws. Kraken has agreed to pay the fine and completely halt its crypto staking service for U.S. residents. The SEC revealed in a statement that the firm had failed to register the offer and sale of its crypto asset, staking as a service program, which has led to the fine. Kraken, which is the third largest validator of the Ethereum stake with 9% market shares of the Ethereum total stake quantity. Now, due to $30 million fine from the Securities and Exchange Commission, Maybe validators or stakeholders will move from Kraken to another validator. Stakeholders may shift to Lido Finance, which is the second largest validator of the Ethereum stake, to stake their share in the Ethereum transition chain. So according to us, overall happens positively for Ethereum. While it may have some short-term negative impact on the price of Ethereum, the upcoming Shanghai upgrade will be extremely bullish for Ethereum, as it will attract more capital to staking and increase the network's security. Ultimately, it's important to approach any speculation about the impact of the upgrade on Ethereum price with caution, as market dynamics are complex and can be difficult to predict with certainty. With over 17 million staked Ether soon to be unlocked, Many are wondering what the future holds for Ethereum. Will we see a mass selling event or the start of a new bull cycle? Our platform pharaohs.live provides in-depth analysis and up-to-date information on the latest trends and developments in the market. Don't miss out on this opportunity to stay ahead of the game. Click now to visit link in the description box below and subscribe for the earliest updates and deep market insights.